What's going on, everybody? So today, um, it's a it's a big day to be a New York Giants fan. I personally am a huge New York Giants fan. And um, about an hour ago, Ben McAdoo and Jerry Reese were fired from the head coach and general manager positions for the New York Giants. Uh, this is the first time that the Giants franchise has actually ever fired a head coach before the end of the regular season. Uh, ben McAdoo, he still had four games to go in the 2017 campaign. Um, Jerry Reese, he's been the ma general manager for 10 seasons since the Giants won during the 2007 season. They won the whole, you know, Super Bowl that year. And, you know, he's been there ever since. But, um, you know, even though this decision uh, to fire them was good and, you know, everyone kind of saw it coming, um, a lot of people were surprised that it even came down to that because they thought that the Giants were going to be a Super Bowl contender this year. But the problems that the Giants have had have been lingering for a very long time. And uh, they just started to really come about this year, especially amidst all the injuries to the key players. So, anyways, um, what we're going to get into is what do the Giants do to get better? Because firing McAdoo and firing Jerry Reese is only the first step. Uh, they're going to have to find a new general manager. They're going to have to find a new head coach. Um, so for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go into the general manager aspect because a lot of people don't really follow the general managers, but a lot of people do follow head coaches. So I'm going to go into, uh, potential head coaching candidates right now. So for my number one head coaching, uh, candidate, I've got John Gruden. Now, if you don't know who John Gruden is, he's an ESPN analyst. He, um, covers some games. He, he's always at the draft. He, uh, was a head coach up until 2008. Uh, he was the head coach for the Raiders and the Buccaneers. He won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers. That Tampa 2 defense, a legendary defense. Uh, that That's my number one candidate right now. Um, I think that, you know, he, he's a great coach, and he coached a lot of great teams. And uh, he's really into discipline, and the Giants lack discipline right now. So that's something that would be really beneficial to the franchise. Also, this is a defense that's probably going to lose... Rogers Cromartie, probably going to lose Janoris Jenkins. So they're going to need a good scheme to make up for the missing pieces that they're going to lose over the offseason because those guys, they haven't been performing. Uh, their morale has obviously been, you know, not very good at all. They had uh, both Cromartie and Jenkins were suspended. So that's not something you want to see out of your starting corners, and I think they're going to have to walk after this season. So uh, John Gruden's defensive scheme would definitely be beneficial to a defense that would be lacking some pieces. Uh, number two, I have Mike McCoy, the Broncos' offensive coordinator. Uh, he was a head coach in 2016. That was the last time he was a head coach um, for the San Diego Chargers, which are now the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, you know, he he's a he's a pretty good coach. Um, he had a lot of success with um, Phil Rivers and. Their offense was still decent, even though they lost a lot of key pieces. And the Giants' offense is certainly lacking right now. So I think that if he came in, he would have a really positive effect on the offense. So I think he's a good candidate. And I think uh, not as good as Gruden, obviously, but definitely up there. Uh, for number three, I have Jim Mora Jr. He is the UCLA head coach right now. Uh, the last time he was a head coach was in 2009 for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, this is a guy who doesn't have you know a lot of good success in the NFL. But the things he's doing for the UCL team, UCLA team right now is pretty impressive. And um, I think that if he came to the NFL, it would be a fresh start. It would be a new face. Uh, it would be it would probably be positive for the New York Giants franchise. Um, and then for the wild card candidate, I have Steve Spagnuolo, who is currently filling in for the McAdoo spot. Um, the last time he was a head coach, aside from currently was in 2009 for the St. Louis Rams, who are now the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, they were horrible under him. They went 1-15, uh, and then he was out. So um, I think that he's a lot better suited to be a defensive coordinator. I don't think he's a great head coach. But, you know, the Giants do have a tendency to stay in-house as far as staffing goes. So I could see that potentially happening, especially if... They don't land Gruden or McCoy or someone else. But, you know, as I said, that's a wild card because Spagnuolo has not had success as a head coach in the NFL, plain and simple. So, all right, now that we have gone over the head coaching options, 
we're going to go over what the Giants should do with the first round pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, which is going to happen in April. So it's five months from today, and um, the Giants have a lot of holes in their roster that they need to fill. Uh, since McAdoo's been fired, they, they're going to start Eli Manning, most likely. Um, whether or not Eli Manning stays is yet to be seen. I think he will stay. I think that now that McAdoo and Reese are out, like everybody else believes in Eli, so I think that Eli will have you know, more of a reason to stay. Uh, he wants to continue playing in the NFL. He didn't say, I want to continue playing for the Giants, but he said in the NFL. So now that these changes have been made, I think Eli will be more inclined to play for the team that he loves. But... He is 37, and I don't think he's Tom Brady. I don't think he's going to be putting up Tom Brady numbers when he's 40. So the Giants, you know, they could draft a quarterback in the first round. So of the quarterbacks, number one, the most enticing prospect, in my opinion, Lamar Jackson out of Louisville. Uh, this is a guy who can run. He can throw. Uh, he won the Heisman. He's um, in the top voting once again for the Heisman. Uh, this is a guy who like would add an element for the Giants that we haven't really seen since Fran Tarkenton. Uh, maybe, I guess you could argue Jeff Hostetler. We haven't really had a guy who can make plays on his feet. So it'd be interesting to see what Lamar Jackson would do in a New York Giants uniform. Throwing it to Odell Beckham Jr., Sterling Shepard, possibly Rand Marshall. I think they're going to cut Rand Marshall, but you know, that has yet to be seen. Evan Ingram. Um, it, it'd be an interesting thing to see and um with a mobile quarterback comes you know more success when your offensive line is lackluster because they can Eli can't make plays on his feet if that offensive line breaks down Eli's breaking down but with Lamar Jackson he can roll out he can escape the pressure you know he can keep plays alive so that'd be interesting to see especially since our offensive line is so horrible right now um in addition there's Baker Mayfield that's my number two most interesting prospect on the list the problem with Baker Mayfield is his attitude. And New York Giants don't typically vibe with players who have attitude issues. They never really have. So, especially at the quarterback position, he's the opposite of Eli Manning. You know, Eli's cool and collected. Baker Mayfield, he's kind of loud, obnoxious, making obscene gestures. But the kid's got an arm. So, you know, it'd be, it'd be hard to turn him down. And on the same token, though, it could be easier to turn him down because of the attitude issues. But that has yet to be seen. Uh, the third most enticing option I have is Josh Rosen. He seems like a more down-to-earth, pro-style quarterback, a lot similar to Eli Manning. Coming out of UCLA, um, I think that it would be a safe pick. But as far as arm talent goes, I think that um, Baker Mayfield outguns him. And I think that in raw talent, Lamar Jackson outguns him. But there's something to be said for the safe quarterback, you know, Peyton Manning, fantastic player. And it's not that he lacked a good arm. It's just that Ryan Leaf at the time was more enticing as far as his talent went, but they ended up picking Manning and it worked out better, way better in the long run. So possibly an option there. And the fourth option I have is Sam Darnold coming out of USC. This is a guy who he looks like a first round talent, but I, I just, when I watch him play, I just get these Paxton Lynch feelings. Like this guy is going to like, be a first round pick, but maybe not pan out. I just, I, and not that like Paxton Lynch is like definitely washed up, but I just don't, I don't go crazy over Sam Darnold. I just, I don't know what it is, but yeah. So the other route that the Giants could go is offensive line. Um, Mike McGinley coming out of Notre Dame, he's a tackle. The Giants have a hole to fill at the tackle position. Um, Eric Flowers, he's rebounded, but that's also when Eli Manning releases the ball after two seconds, so. It's kind of hard to give up a sack when you're only blocking for two seconds. Um, in addition to that, we have Quentin Nelson, also from Notre Dame, and he's an offensive guard, another position that we need to address. Um, we do have Justin Pugh, but, you know, that right guard spot, big hole there. Uh, that'd be another good pick. Um, and in addition to that, I have a wild card pick for the first round, and that is Saquon Barkley at Penn State. He's a running back. Now, the Giants, they have Orleans Darkwa, and Orleans Darkwa has been playing great. Um, but Saquon Barkley, he's like a hyped up player. He's, you know, he's performing on a big stage. Orleans Darkwa is undrafted. People are still unsure about Orleans Darkwa. But Saquon Barkley, he seems like a guy who would come in and be like Ezekiel Elliott. 
So it might be hard to you know pass up on that, but also how good can a running back be behind that Giants offensive line? Because it's not impressive. You know, you got like Ezekiel Elliott's running behind one of the best O lines in football. So I don't think they'll go running back, but it is an option. So all in all, that's what I think the Giants have to do. Um, I think that the best fit would be to get John Gruden to come out and uh, be your head coach. And I honestly want them to take Lamar Jackson. Um, I know that he isn't necessarily the biggest arm in the draft, but I just I feel like it's a league where you need guys like Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, um, Aaron, Andrew Luck when he's healthy, um, just guys like that to escape from the pocket and, and make plays on their feet. Um, so yeah, I, that's what I say. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.